Now let's uh, have a closer look at all this diplomatic activity with Hossein Haridi. He's a former Egyptian assistant foreign minister. He's also served as the Egyptian ambassador to Spain and Pakistan. He joins us from Cairo. Welcome to Al Jazeera. So the key quote of the past few hours comes from the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, who says, quote, the U.S. is looking at different options over ending the war in Gaza. I mean, the assumption is from the Americans uh, that the killing of the Hamas chief Yahya Sinwar would somehow open a window for diplomacy. Absolutely no indication of that from Israel, though. In your view, is there any room for diplomacy right now? Well, uh, the Americans are pushing hard for uh, a, a diplomatic solution for one element in the puzzle, which is the release of the hostages. Uh, th this is their main concern right now. And I would like to see uh, the release of at least some hostages that would include Israeli-American hostages before November 5th, that is to say, before the American presidential elections that are scheduled to take place next November 5th. But the Americans right now, as far as the situation in Gaza is concerned, uh, are not speaking about a permanent ceasefire. And the feeling that I got from going over the remarks of, of uh, Secretary Antony Blinken during his uh, latest uh, tour in the Middle East is that uh, they, the United States or the American administration has stopped talking about the Biden's plan of May 31st. And the Israelis on their part are speaking about a, a new framework. So uh, judging from these statements, I'm afraid that both the Americans and the Israelis are uh, uh, angling for different objectives than uh, the American administration was trying to achieve uh, uh, after it adopted the Biden's plan. So now we are in, in, in almost no man's land. We don't know, we don't know how things would develop in the, in, in, as far as the Gaza is concerned. Uh, the statement uh, released by the office of the Israeli prime minister concerning the upcoming uh, talks in Doha uh, only said that the, the talks would uh, deal with the release of hostage. Right. So you're, bas uh, you're basically saying, sorry, sorry to interrupt, so you're basically saying that the Americans are prioritizing a push for the release of captives because it's politically expedient to do so ahead of the election, but are missing the main goal, which is a lasting ceasefire. Uh, Anthony Blinken's been in Qatar, Saudi, Jordan and Egypt. From your experience as Egyptian assistant foreign minister, what do you assume has been going on in the room during those meetings with Arab leaders, given the huge amount of frustration coming from many in the region that the US, by supporting the Israelis militarily, is tacitly supporting the bloodshed? Well, uh, my sense is that the, the Americans, like the Israelis, are, uh, I think that the uh, assassination or the killing of uh, Yahya Sanwar uh, is a game changer. And I doubt that this is the, uh, this is, this is, this is the truth. Uh, Hamas uh, is not Yahya Sinwar. Yahya Sinwar was one of the leaders of uh, Hamas. Uh, Hamas still uh, clings to, his, to its original position. That is, it, it, would, it, would, it would stop fighting the Israelis in Gaza when the Israelis accept mm. two conditions. The first is a permanent ceasefire, and the second one is the withdrawal of Israeli forces from the Gaza Strip. And neither the Americans nor the Israelis have talked about these two conditions after the assassination, after the killing of Mr. Yahya, of Yahya Sinwar. So I'm, I'm afraid that uh, Israel and the United States and the West have misled the uh, will and the determination of the Palestinians to get something uh, really uh, uh, a victory, let's let let's say a, 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 a victory based mm. on 
the ordeal and the suffering that the uh, Palestinian people uh, okay. uh, uh, has seen, not only in Gaza, but in the West Bank from October yeah. tw to, uh, to, to, to 2023. Hussein, I don't think... Uh, Hussein uh, Haridi, sorry, sorry to cut you off, but that we really appreciate uh, you sharing your thoughts with us here on Al Jazeera. Many thanks. Uh, Hussein Haridi, former Thank Egyptian you. Assistant Foreign Minister there. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.